am here with Krista with Aeration Septic. Can you start by telling me a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your company as well? Absolutely, Francie. Uh, again, my name is Krista Gessiman, and I'm Vice President of Aeration Septic. We're located in Canal Fulton, Ohio, and the business itself has uh, been in place since April of 1989. However, I'm a recent addition to the team. I've been on board here for the uh, past year and a half. My business partner, Jeff Oyster, and I have been working hard in both the residential and commercial septic industry. And I know there's a lot of people out there who don't know much about the septic world. <laughs> so I'll just start out by giving kind of a little bit of background information about what we do and uh, how uh, different commercial and residential systems work. So, for example, if you're a homeowner, you probably have a septic system if you're not linked up to the uh, city sewer. So, typically that means you may live out on a ruler piece of property. Um, aeration systems are a type of septic system that funnel air into the sewage that's coming from the house, which uh, naturally turns that sewage into a groundwater state. So uh, by simple biology, we're incorporating air and filtering it down there to turn all of the sewage that comes out of your house into um, actually a uh, odorless groundwater state. And when I say sewage coming from your house, I'm talking about everything, not just from the toilet. It's the shower water that you use, the garbage disposal uh, that you use in your household, um, and also the laundry that you do. So uh, there's a lot of things that are funneling into your septic system, and uh, you know all of those play a factor in the work that we do. Along with the residential work, we also do commercial work. We work on pump stations and lift stations. And in terms of our stand, we work all over the state of Ohio. So we keep ourselves busy, uh, but we have a lot of customers. Wow, that's excellent. Now, question one. What makes Aeration Septic, Inc. a little bit different than other septic service companies? I think the thing that makes Aeration Septic different than other companies is our dedication to customer service. There are a lot of fly-by-night companies out there, people who say they're going to do septic work, operate out of their garage, and don't have continuous, good, reliable service. Uh, we take our customer service as a first priority. So if we have someone calling saying that they have motor problems, backup problems in their house, you can guarantee that if you give our offices a call, we'll be there right away. The exact same thing goes with our commercial uh, customers. When you think about all of the restaurants out there, all of the stores that have these pump stations and lift stations, obviously the restaurants aren't going to stay in business if uh, issues related to their septic system um, aren't taken care of. So it's really important that our company has reliable, fast service, and that's what we take the most pride in. And clearly you've been around and in business for a while, so you know the difference between good service and bad service, and I think that's great that you guys really pride yourself in having excellent customer service. Um, do you notice that there's a lot of other companies out there that try to operate out of the back of their truck and you know, may have helped someone and then a year later they're not in business anymore and that person's calling you because they know you're a reliable company. We see that quite a bit, Francie. Um, people are trying to, you know, go for a person who has a small operation, not a large customer base, and then fast forward one year, the homeowner is having problems and that same vendor is no longer in business. I think the thing in this industry is really to identify ourselves as a stable, reliable company. Um, we want to make sure that we're there for our customers and that's paramount. That's excellent. Now question two. What does a client need to know about septic tank maintenance? Great question. Obviously, most homeowners aren't spending a lot of time thinking about their septic system. Um, so we take care of that for them. I always use an analogy when I'm talking about septic systems relating to cars. Servicing the motor in your aeration septic system is like servicing your car. 
In order for your car to run for a long period of time and to last and remain reliable, and in order to avoid expensive repairs, you have to take it in to get service every so often to make sure that it's working properly. Your aeration septic system is exactly the same way. There's a motor in there that's filtering air into your system. And if it's not working, if something's clogging it up, if something is tight around your system, then it's not working properly. If your system isn't working properly, there is a chance that um, sewage groundwater could be leaching into our system. As we become more familiar with environmental codes, regulations, standards, and the effect of those pollutants, uh, we really want to make sure that the water that's going into our groundways is um, not contaminated in any way. So uh, the reason you need to maintain your system is because you want to make sure it's working properly to avoid expensive repairs, and uh, you want to make sure that you're not polluting any waterways you know, around your property or your neighbors. Another thing I wanted to mention about maintenance is that everything that's funneling into your system could impact the way that your system's working. So for example, aeration systems are funneling air into your system and the bacteria that's caused there is actually eating up the sludge, the sludge sewage and it's causing it to be converted to a groundwater state. If, for example, you have anything happening in your household that's throwing off that bacteria count, you are going to release toxic um, you know, groundwater into your um, waterways. That's why routine service is important so that a service provider is always out there to make sure that your system's working properly. So one example I always like to use is when people are on serious medication. So for example, we have customers who um, very unfortunately may be undergoing chemotherapy treatment or things of that nature. When you are taking strong medication, and of course you're using the restrooms, things of that nature, those strong medications, of course, are going into your system. Those strong medications are also killing the bacteria in your system, which means it's not working properly. And that means, of course, that sewage sludge could be leaking out into our, our grounds and waterways. So it's really important that uh, you have kind of routine service and maintenance so that we can see that your system's working properly, but also we can incorporate what's happening into your household and how that's impacting your system. For most systems, you want to have them routinely serviced two times a year. And so companies like Aeration Septic set up routine service so we're out there to service the system to make sure that it's not confronted with any of these types of problems. That's great. So basically we need to remember for your analogy, service your car every three to five thousand miles and service your septic tank twice a year. Absolutely. That's great. Okay, question three. What are some of the indicators that a pump station may need to be serviced? Absolutely. So pump stations are a larger type of system that are located on commercial operations. So you're going to think of pump stations and lift stations when you think of um, restaurants, um, shopping stores, things of that nature, where there's a lot of people uh, in there using restrooms, there's a lot of people cooking, things of that nature, and um, they need to be able to pump that sewage into a, another waterway or channel. Um, essentially what happens there is these systems are actually quite sophisticated and they're designed with a lot of components of alarms and check panels. So um, I always encourage people, when you see a blinking light, when you hear an alarm, that's going to indicate a problem. Those so same kind of alarms and blinking lights are located on residential systems. So I always encourage people, when you hear or see something that doesn't look right, it means something isn't right. And you should always make sure to uh, call and have someone come out to take a look at things sooner rather than later. If you delay having service done on either a residential or commercial system, what could happen is it could cause more expensive problems. So for example, in a commercial system, instead of just uh, using up one pump, you might actually burn out the second pump, and those are thousands of dollars in some cases. Uh, the same thing goes for residential systems. If you ignore the warning signs, the lights, the alarms, what could happen? You could 
you could encounter more expensive problems, and you could even encounter backup problems. No one wants backup problems in their basement or their home, and so in order to avoid that, make sure to be aware of all of the warning signs. That's great. And, and like you said, most of the warning signs would be some kind of indicator light or alarm. Are there any other warning signs that people should be aware of? Those are the primary ones. They're going to be a, a buzzing sound, a, um, a light, an alarm. I always encourage people to, if you hear something that doesn't sound right with your system or something that doesn't smell right, that's going to be a problem. With residential aerobic treatment systems, there should be absolutely no odor. So if you start to notice a sewage odor or something of that nature, it means that something is wrong. Um, if you start to notice any loud noise, um, I just had a customer call today and said he noticed kind of a clattering sound or a shaking sound. That also indicates a problem. Um, so like I said, uh, your system should be running smoothly. There shouldn't be any alarm, light, buzzers, sounds, smells start to notice any of those things, there's likely a problem. Okay. Question four. What is the process when a new aeration septic system needs to be installed? Absolutely. Well, as we talked about earlier, you're going to install a new residential aeration system if you are either uh, in new residential construction or you are replacing an older tank. So, um, New construction, of course, if you're building a new house, you would need to have that system in if you're not hooked up to a city sewer line. Uh, there's also a need for um, replacement systems. A lot of these septic systems, um, you know, 30 years ago and, and even up to this day, were and are made out of concrete. Although concrete is an incredibly durable material, it's not going to last forever. It can decompose and break down. So what we notice is as time passes with some of these concrete systems, they are breaking down, they're not working efficiently, they are releasing uh, some of this sewage into our waterways. It's likely at that point the health department may contact you to get a replacement system installed. As time has progressed, so has the technology on these systems. We no longer have just concrete tanks. We can also use a plastic or a fiberglass tank. Um, this is basically newer technology in our industry. Um, we do know that these plastic or fiberglass tanks are quite durable, um, and we can install those as well. So although installation isn't a paramount portion of our business, we have the ability to install uh, these fiberglass or plastic tanks for our customers who either need new installs with new construction or replacement tanks because theirs are broken down. Gotcha. And how long does the installation process typically take? Um, typically, for companies like ourselves, when you're organized and you have everything together, uh, we can get something like that kind of installed and hooked up in one day. Our policy is we want to make sure to have everything prepped and ready to go so that when we're on site and a contractor is there, it's not going to take us long to wire and install this system. So it kind of goes back to our whole company theory on customer service. We want to do good work, and we want to do it quickly for our customer, especially when there's a, a new home um, in, in prospect for a homeowner. You don't want to wait around for everything to be uh, constructed and ready to go. You're excited to move in, and you want things to move along smoothly. So we want to make sure that uh, we're able to provide our customers with that service. Yes. Question five. How often does a septic tank system need to be pumped? That's a great question. Typically speaking, um, systems should be pumped every three to five years. Our company does not participate in pumping services. However, when you have a running service contract like our company offers, we are able to come out and assess the system to tell you when it needs pumped. So for example, homeowners might be able to save themselves a little bit of money by knowing the status of their system and when it needs pumped. Hmm. So a lot of those variables will really depend on what's happening in the household. 
So for example, we have some customers who maybe are, are one single person living in a household. They're not taking a lot of showers. They're not doing a ton of laundry. You know, their cooking is based at a minimum. A system like that could probably be pumped once every five years, as long as we're taking a look at it, you know, and things of that nature. But we have other customers who have very active households. Maybe there's five people living there, a lot of children, tons of laundry, lots of cooking, lots going down the garbage disposal. Systems like that may need to be pumped more frequently. It could be every two to three years. What I always encourage my customers to do is if they are service contract customers with us, we're already coming out twice a year to take a look at your system, and we're looking at the accumulation of the sludge in there as well. We'll always let you know when that system needs pumped. That way, um, you won't kind of have to leave it to a guessing game. You'll have a reminder of when it needs pumped, and when you need assistance getting those services, mm -hmm. happy to set you up with providers in your area. Well, I guess that goes back to the routine maintenance and how key those those twice a year visits can be because that can really help the customer yeah. know exactly when it's time for for them to to get a pump out. Absolutely, it can save you a little bit of money in the process, especially when you have another set of eyes taking a look to make sure everything's you know working properly. Right. Okay. Question six. What are some of the indicators that there is an issue with the septic system? Absolutely. We talked about this briefly a little bit already, but um, like I mentioned earlier, the system itself should operate in a very normal fashion. There shouldn't really be any odors. There shouldn't be any um, strange sounds or vibrations or noises coming from those pumps. Uh, there shouldn't be any alarm or um, lights going off. Um, if you see any of those things, it's, it's indicating to you that there is a problem with the system. Um, commercial systems have multiple pumps at some point. And if you ignore problems and one pump isn't, isn't working, that means that another pump in there is doing double time. So it's trying to do double the work. What will happen in those cases is that pump is going to burn out faster. And that's going to be an expensive problem. So I always encourage people, the second you see something going wrong with your system or you have a noise or an indicator or a light or an odor, give us a call to take a look at it because the longer you let it go, the more problems you may face. Kind of much like the analogy we talked about earlier with servicing your car. Yep. The longer you let that service engine keep on, you know, the more problems um, and the more expensive problems could be happening with it. So uh, at first notice, it's important to give a service provider a call. So basically, at the point when you realize you have a septic system because you're either smelling something or hearing something or seeing something that you shouldn't, that's pretty much an indicator that something's wrong. Absolutely. And Francie, I touched a lot on um, our service contracts with our residential customers. But I did want to let you know, too, that those same service contracts are available and probably even more important for commercial customers. When you have a lot of people using that system, it's much more inclined to have problems. And so it's even more important for kind of routine service or another set of eyes to come out there and explore what's happening and what's wrong with the system. So with the commercial customers, would you recommend service more than twice a year, or does that just kind of depend on the type of business that they are? Absolutely. It depends on the type of business that they are, and it depends upon the type of system that they have. So for our commercial com customers, what we always do is we come out, we do a free on-site estimate. We're going to talk you through the type of system that you have and the important things to consider. When you think about commercial systems in the area, they can range. They can be anything from a, um, a small business building to a medium-sized restaurant. With mm -hmm. restaurants, you also have all of the grease wraps and things of that nature mm -hmm. uh, that you have to consider as well because there's a lot of things that are going down, drains, holding tanks, things of that nature that um, need to be assessed. 
You also have, uh, you know, commercial pump or lift stations associated with um, mobile home parks. So when you have a lot of people uh, using a system, there's more chance that something can go wrong. And it's uh, funny sometimes, I know our service crew always comments, because you never know what you're going to find down there. I think uh, most people, especially if there's little ones in a the household, there might be um, G.I. Joe dolls or something that are accidentally going down the toilet, and those could impact or potentially cause problems with your system. Uh, so you have to think about everything that's going down the toilet, everything that's going down the garbage disposal. Um, all of those things can really complicate or cause problems with your system. Yeah. Well, Krista, I want to thank you again for sharing some information about aeration septic. If someone has questions or maybe isn't currently doing their routine service and needs to schedule of that, what's the best way that they can contact aeration septic? Absolutely. I would encourage people to give us a call. As I mentioned earlier, our company is always flexible to do free estimates, and we'd be excited to work with you. Uh, the number here at the office is area code 330-854-4405, and our website is aeration-septic.com. And I'm just going to spell that for everyone out there. It's www.aeration-septic.com. Excellent. Thank you again, and I definitely encourage anyone out there, if you do not currently have your routine service schedule, definitely give them a call, and Aeration Septic will definitely help you out. Thank you again, Krista. Thank you.